Welcome to day eight of 100 Day Project, and I'm working with abstract florals. I have to go ahead and do a spoiler here, but this is probably my favorite project so far. It was the fastest one that I did without thinking the most as, as possible as I could, and I loved it. And I hope to continue on this path as I'm doing the 100 day project that it continues to be like this where it's just more intuitive painting instead of my brain trying to take over and tell me what to do. I've had enough of it. <laughs> um, I knew one thing when I saw this is that I got to work with pinks and one of the reasons that I splurged with my Daniel Smith pans, I did a lot of research ahead of time and it took me a while to bite that bullet to get these. Um, I just, it was, you know, some people might, it not might not be a lot, but for me, I just, I just couldn't do it, especially after having like, you know, $20 sets that are really nice. And so I didn't know what, if it was going to be worth it. And I will tell you, if you can, then... I think that you would enjoy the Daniel Smiths. Now, what I did is I bought these, I think they're not quite half pans off of Etsy, and it allowed me to see a lot of different color variations. So one of the things I wanted was pinks because all the other palettes that I have, they have good reds, greens, blues, but the pinks are lacking. And the Daniel Smith has some beautiful pinks. Rose Matter, Opera Pink, um, and I look at that color. I just went for it, um, and I'm going to so oversaturate this page. You're going to see, and I tried, I had to actually bring out my heat gun to try to dry it up, and I tried to not move the paint around so it wouldn't, you know, change too much, um, and you'll see that in a minute. Another thing that I do here is, I don't know if you noticed, but when I was painting the leaf, I actually wet the paper first. So I did a wet on wet technique. So what that means is I wet the paper, then took my watercolor that was already, you know, wet and I added it on top. And this is a beautiful technique. Probably one of my favorites with watercolor, the more that you let the water do the work, the more beautiful that the watercolors are. But now can we take a minute again to look at this vibrant pink? And in, when I tell you in real life, it's even more vibrant. I just love this one. Look at that pooling in the middle. I know I couldn't help myself. Um, gosh, do you, do you guys agree with me on the pinks? Just so lovely. But um, that's pretty much it. It's almost done. I'm going to add some of the Stabilo stays all in the background to just make it pop and it turns out more of a turquoisey blue or a tealish blue I guess like it did in the last video that I did and I love it I think it's beautiful like I said it's my favorite so I hope um, that you guys enjoyed the process and I will see you back tomorrow
Thank you.